Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial and today I will be teaching you guys how to make a flow frame in After Effects and also in the flow frame software. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is prepare your clip. Mine is right here. Uh, it's from one right priority and we're going to cut down each moving frame of the blanket. So one, two, 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 one. So we're going to Hold shift, click up, drag to the left, we our frames to the left, press C, A frame assistant, C frame the slayers, and press OK. Press N to shorten it down, shorten the uh, the play, the timeline or the um the view button, preview bar down to these frames. And you're gonna press Ctrl M, best settings. Um okay, so AVI if you're on Windows, uh, otherwise I think there's other ways to do it on Mac, but I'm not sure. But for Windows, just turn off your app audio output and change your format to AVI. Um, um, change your thing to comp um, one or whatever you want, uh, one, two, or in this case, we'll do flow two. Um, we're gonna do render. And then next we're going to actually put this into our flow frames. So first off, what you're gonna do is go to your interpolation tab. You're gonna determine, you're gonna decide whether or not you have a Nvidia GPU, but also which uh, interpolation AI works for you. They all kind of work, I think, a bit differently, but and they all cater towards different like circumstances. So if you don't have a Nvidia GPU, then you would use uh, Rife and CNN or CUDA if you have a Nvidia GPU, stuff like that. So we're gonna go to our input video, and we're going to find our flow to AVI. We're gonna put that in really quick. Uh, we're gonna change the output FPS to speed. Um, um, keep the FPS at 24, like we rendered it at. Change the X2 to X10. Or if you're on uh, NCN, then just change the X8 um, to E1 192 FPS. Um, normal speed. Um, your AI model keep at 4.0 or the latest one you have. Uh, and your output mode is going to set, uh, instead of MP4, please select image sequence it is much, much better of a, um, much better of a customization in your timeline. Please, trust me. <laughs> um, so what you're going to do is just now press interpolate and it's just going to take you to our preview. And depending on how long you set it, how the multiply you set it for, it should have take too long. Uh, so in this case, it's done. We're just gonna go back to our timeline and we're going to import it now and just hide everything here. And these you can honestly remove, we don't need these. So you're gonna locate where it is, you're gonna press go to flow two and the rife uh, multiplier and you're going to put it on your timeline by pressing the first frame in the image sequence. So now we now have our image sequence in the timeline. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a bit of timing mapping here. So what we're going to do is we are going to do Control Alt T and double click the frame blending so it gets the optical. I think that's called the optical flow. Um, so then we're going to get the optical flow going. We're going to bring the keyframe back here. We're going to bring it back once in this case, um, and we're going to highlight the keyframes, press F9, open up the graph editor. We're gonna make two graphs. So if you're doing a speed graph, so like if you're doing like a C pack, uh, that kind of stuff, you can advertise it like this, where it kind of continues and it speeds up again. Something like that. Something like that. And it speeds up again. Or what we can do is we can make us like a frame number graph like you would do in Twixer and you can kind of just go like this and go like that. So in this case, it kind of, it speeds up and then it goes back, um, it gradually slows down. So yeah. Um, and if it ever does that, just play around with this, uh, please play around with this back uh, keyframe just to bring it back or like anything like that. So if it, so it can kind of move again. So yeah, so stuff like that. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did it um, and liked it. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. There are more tutorials on the way, of course. More edits on the way, of course. So yeah, be sure, be sure to stick around for more. Goodbye.